In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four colorful petals infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click one small stem comes and then you can see a four colorful petals will come here. In the center, I've added oval shape with the icons and then you can add the option one. Your title will come here and the detailed text and I've added some shadow effect at the front and at the back also. And this is the option two with a, a different gradient fill than the option three and the option four likewise i have created uh, two more slides where i have not added the stem here you can see here and the size is bigger and one more where i have just put some uh, different color combination without the icon so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you would like to join my telegram group with the help of this link you can join it and you can support my channel by watching the advertisement link for uh, 30 seconds or clicking the advertisement link and if you like to support directly you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i've used office uh, 2019 version to do it and if you're using older versions like 2007 or 2010 uh, might be some features will not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. In this case, I have just used very light gray blue color. Uh, then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I am going to select uh, the this one which is diagonal corners rounded. Just draw it. You can see here, depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. Then shape outline, make it no outline. And then you can see here the two orange uh, points or dots so this orange dot which is on the left i'm just going to drag it so depending on your requirement how much you want to drag you can just drag it maybe i'm just going to keep it this one you can see here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to rotate can you see here i'm just going to make it flip vertical and then exactly in the center i'm just giving a little bit gap you can see here this much gap let me just zoom in i'm just placing it here okay uh, giving a little bit of gap and then i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate and then again go to the shape format rotate you can see here i can rotate right 90 degrees all right and then again the same gap i'm going to give it here all right and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add it at the bottom one here and here this one again duplicate and add this side here and make sure that the spacing is equal right and once this is given or once this is done what we need to do is we need to just uh, fill this one with some gradient colors so right mouse click go to format shape and then i'm just going to select a gradient fill by default there will be four stops so i'm just going to delete two stops and only two stops will remain so one stop i'm going to select go to more colors you can give any color combination uh, depending on your requirement for example i want to give a uh, this one which is a dark purple and here i'm just going to choose some light color here any color combination you can choose you can see here a dark and the light it looks something like this and with the help of direction whichever direction you want you can just change the direction all right so you can see here something like this and then coming to this one again depending on the requirement you can just again fill with the gradient here i'm going to choose maybe some different color combination i can choose uh, maybe this a teal color a dark color and then i'm going to choose some light color here so you can see here now i'm going to choose some different color combination let me just make it a gradient also first and this one i'm going to make it uh, maybe a, a red color dark red color you can see here and here i'm just going to choose some light color combination or orange color you can see here a different color combination you can choose and here maybe i'm going to choose some blue or dark blue with a light blue color combination and even this combination also combination also combination sorry it looks also very good and then let me just choose uh, some light blue color here you can see here i have created uh, four different color combination gradient filled uh, objects now the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and I'm going to shape fill with white and hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here 
and i'm just going to place it here something like this for this also or i can just select this one duplicate and again i can just rotate it and then i'm just going to place it here and this one duplicate and copy it here and this one duplicate and copy it here so likewise you can just finish this basic design and if you want to add some shadow effect also for example i'm going to select this duplicate this and shape fill i'm going to select it black and increase the transparency level maybe 50 or 60 percent and then just place it just above this one and then just send this to back send back you can see here something like this so we have got the shadow effect also so depending on the requirement whether you want to uh, make a bigger shadow effect or the small shadow effect you can just do it press ctrl d and again i'm just going to rotate it and i'm just going to place it here something like this you can see here and then just send this to back again now ctrl d to duplicate bring this side here and again send this to back and this one Control D, I'm just going to copy it here and then just send this to back. So we end up getting a shape, something like this. Let me just remove the guides. So you can see here, this is some a basic shape we have done. Now we have to add a few more shapes. Now I would like to add one circle here. So just make sure that it is properly aligned. Okay, if not, you can see here there are some uh, gaps are there, some are up and some are down. So you have to just make sure that this is properly aligned. So let me just align it properly so that it should be aligned. Otherwise, what happens here is if I put some circles here, so it will not be looking good then it will not look good so let me just put it something like this then what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes i'm going to select a oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle if you want to increase the size you can just hold the shift key and increase the size control and shift key together you have to make it and let me just make it transparent so this one it will come something like this so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this one two three four and the circle press ctrl d to duplicate bring it the other side let me just zoom out you can see here i'm just bringing it other side and then what i'm going to do is go to shape format merge shape and then i'm just going to fragment it okay and this fragment let me just delete this one and i'm going to select this one okay you can see here let me just zoom in or i can just simply delete also this one so that only the circle will remain okay you can see here one two three four if i move it it will look like this okay so let me just give some different color for the time being and then i will just change according to the requirement press ctrl g to group it shape format align center align middle you can see here now ungroup this right mouse click and ungroup it now i'm going to select this shape go to home format painter i'm going to click it here then again i'm going to select this one format painter this again select this one format painter this one and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to format painter this one and this shape i don't need i can just simply delete it so you can see here our basic design is ready and if you want to add some shadow effect also you can add the shadow effect depending on your requirement now let's put the options here go to insert text box and just i'm going to type 01 you can want if you want you can make it a b c d also maybe a left align make it bold choose some good font i'm just going to choose a roboto and increase the size if you want and make it white and then i'm just going to paste it here okay you can see here if you want to increase further you can increase it something like this press ctrl d to duplicate add it here and this time i'm just going to write align this one and just put it here ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side you can see here again ctrl d and i'm just going to put it here and left align something like this so this is one will be two this one will be a uh, three and this is the fourth option so let me just change it so one two three four and if you want to add some titles here you can just add the title you can just say here or option or i can just say title you can see here 
let me just choose the same font i can just do this one let me just reduce the size a little bit maybe 18 and i want to put it uh, across so i can just go here and make it rotate uh, all text uh, 270 degrees you can see here and increase the size so the title will come here for one press ctrl d to duplicate and one title will come here you can see here again ctrl d to duplicate and this time it should either you can just put it here if you want or you can put it on the top also in this case i'll put the horizontal and just increase the size so you can see here you can add it here or this one will look better here only so let me just put it here and press ctrl d to duplicate and if you want you can just add it here all right so we have added the title and then here you need to add some detailed text so go to insert text box i'm going to type equals lorem within bracket one i've got this text some latin text some unwanted text i'm just going to delete it again i'm going to make this as a gray color reduce the size you can see here if you want you can just make it a justify and then i'm just going to copy it here all right if you want you can reduce further the, the font size and press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add it here ctrl d this will go here and again ctrl d this one will come to this place all right so with this we have completed the design and if you want to add so this looks like a flower and if you want to add some stem or something like that you can just go to insert shapes and i can just select the right triangle and then or just the triangle not the right triangle so shape outline make it no outline shape fill i can give any a brown color then right mouse click edit point and depending on my requirement i can just move it you can see here i can just do any design i want or if i want i can just move it here and further i can just move it something like this so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it and then i can just simply put it here in the center and reduce the size all right so it looks something like this let me just reduce it further all right so depending on your requirement you can just increase or decrease or change the colors if you want to put the text outside also you can just put it and if you want to give some basic animation you can give some basic animation to it